The livestock subsector in Uganda faces a number of challenges, including ticks that transmit diseases resulting in low productivity. National Agricultural Research Organization, NARO, is however making strides in researching on the anti-tick vaccine. Having progressed from proof of concept and on station clinical trials, the anti-tick vaccine is now undergoing confined field trials. And all these trials were approved by National Drug Authority and Uganda National Council for Science and Technology. So they are within the law. So far, we are getting exciting results and hopefully uh, after the trial, we should be able to produce the vaccine for Uganda. The confined field trials are being conducted in five different sites and a total of 720 animals have been recruited. The vaccine is administered through oral and injection and can protect the animal for six months. The vaccine uh, controls ticks. So, uh, be it sheep, be it goat, as long as it is the ticks, the, uh, the, the, the vaccine will, will, should be able to control them. The Executive Director, Science Foundation for Livelihoods and Development, Aisa Kongu, commended government for prioritizing science and technology. And uh, with the tick vaccine, we shall be able to save that money that is wasted on buying a carry site. And if that money is saved, farmers will use that income for doing other things. And also, too much spraying is not it's not good for the for the animal and also for the products that uh, come out of the out of the animal yeah so with the science and technology we appreciate where uganda is going to we are seeing uganda in, in investing a lot of money in science and technology when the trials are successful, it is hoped that the losses incurred by farmers in buying a carricides and death of animals due to tick-borne diseases will be reduced. Adiana Kuti, UBC.